What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today we're going to be telling you the best methods to farm possum badges out there in the wasteland without doing any of the challenges. Y'all, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay notified of everything that we do. Hit that bell notification icon and drop us a like if you enjoy this content. Y'all, let's get in here and talk about it. Now, if you're wondering what possum badges are and why you should care about them, they are a form of currency used by the Pioneer Scouts. And to start earning them, you're going to have to make sure you have done the Order of the Tadpole. So if you have not started that yet, make sure to go over and start that quest. But for me personally, doing the Order of the Tadpole, the challenges that I picked were the Athlete, the Hunter, and the Swimmer. I found those to be the easiest choices out of all of them. And the rewards you can get from turning in possum badges to the possum vending machine are absolutely amazing. We just picked up the high capacity backpack mod and that adds an extra 60 pounds to your carry weight. The world event that you're going to want to look for is called Campfire Tales, and it happens over at Camp Adams. And y'all, you may have seen this pop up in the world and not thought much of it, but there is a 25% chance that in finishing this event, you are going to get a possum badge. And now that Fallout RNG chance is low, but y'all, when it happens, you are so excited. These next two are dailies that you should be running every single day that you play Fallout 76, and there is a roughly about a 25% chance for these two to spawn a possum badge on finishing it. The first one is called Operation Tidy. And what Operation Tidy involves is you go into Kitty Corner Cabins to talk to Scout Leader Pompey. They're going to tell you to collect toxic mutagenic waste around the Toxic Valley. And like I said, it's about a 25% chance to get a possum badge from this, but it is something that you should be running absolutely every day that you play Fallout 76. It takes maybe five minutes to do. The next daily quest that you're going to want to do is called Stings and Things. And what this involves is you going to Dolly Sod's Wilderness and talking to Scout Leader Treadley, and they are going to send you on a mission to collect insect parts. Now, these can be parts from all over the wasteland, and a great place to stock up on insect parts is while you're doing Campfire Tales or Tea Time. And personally to me, what I like to do to make this daily quest even faster is to keep 5 to 10 of each of these insect parts ready to go and then instantly take them over there to trigger the daily quest and and then wait three to five seconds and then turn it right back in. And again, this is about a 25% chance to get a possum badge from this daily quest. As you can see right here, we did not do any of our possum challenges and we were able to get the high capacity backpack mod, which cost eight possum badges in about four days of play. And now we got super lucky. And remember, you can trade these plans from the vending machine. So you may find them in a player vendor camp out there in the wastelands of Appalachia. Thank you so much for checking this video out on your busy day. And hopefully you found it entertaining and informative and i would love to thank our channel members frugan just jake herb cross blood sebastian nova prophet zach crm jesse blazement has bud cranberry relish gravy train bay i am mr minot you quinn indy andy warfy warren blake homa patrick super loki megs lee katie bubby ghost petty lewis force james purple dazed ian darth zen jacob stars trafe matt stabby hokey unusual leader dan nerdy chick bow forever here jay allen yeager chewy d20 tonks nick roto igo alex alejandro crab egbert hammer dennis Evan, and articular thank you so much for supporting us out here in the wasteland y'all have a great and wonderful day friends and we'll catch you in the wasteland later peace y'all